Welcome back to Sister Circle Live. <laughs> and it's all about our full circle where we talk a little bit about something that we've been discussing and hopefully it resonates with you. Well, Venus and Serena Williams have taken not only the world of tennis, but the world at large by storm, breaking down barriers and breaking records simultaneously. They have been great examples to young women, and especially young women of color, with aspirations of greatness both in life and in sports. And while they've made great strides to open doors for a new generation of leaders and athletes, when they retire, they will leave a huge void for popular positive images of women in sports. Some think that. How do we continue to cultivate the next generation of influential female athletes? This is too fun. I love this. <laughs> Well, I, I am definitely going to uh, start here. I have a nonprofit called Sporty Girls Incorporated, and our mission is to encourage girls to participate in non-traditional sports, non-traditional deemed, non -traditional de deemed in our community, swimming, soccer, tennis, golf, and lacrosse. I went to college on a swimming scholarship, and uh, it afforded me a free education, along with my academic um, scholarship as well. But it afforded me a free uh, um, education. But not only that, it just allowed me to become the person that I am today. I've cultivated amazing friendships through sport. I know my self-esteem, my confidence, discipline, mm -hmm. all those things have come through sport. And so I wanted to afford those same opportunities to girls, and particularly girls of color. All you have to do is give a girl a chance, mm -hmm. period. Whether she is an, uh, an elite athlete or someone who is up and coming and continuing to work hard to become that elite athlete, all a girl needs is a chance. From the Boys and Girls Club to the Villages of Carver YMCA, all of the places where sporty girls has, have been, we've been able to show girls what it means to be an athlete. We've served over a thousand girls in and around the metro Atlanta area. So it takes programs like mine which God gave me the vision for in 2006, to be able to impart to other girls that you can. I had a parent that told me that, that she had never picked up a lacrosse stick until she had come to my program. The very next year, she was playing on her lacrosse team. Yeah. So it's just all about showing girls that they can do it. And, and, and this is the last point I'm gonna make. My nonprofit is not for girls, to just underserved girls or girls who can afford it. This, my organization is for all girls because as growing up as a middle class girl, I felt like great programming we were left out of. Our parents made too much for the great programming for underserved girls or we didn't have enough for the elite programming for mm. girls who could afford it. <laughs> right. So if my program speaks to all girls from all socioeconomic backgrounds because if you put a golf club in a middle class girl's hand or an underserved girl, whatever, they can still continue to make business deals yeah. when they go to college or when yeah. they, you know, you, you know, get their degrees and all of that. So. All a girl needs is a chance. Needs is a chance. Just like Serena and Venus, her daddy, put her out there on that court in Compton, and now look wow. what they've become. And parenting. And parenting. parenting. Yes. yes. Okay. Talk to us a little bit about, you know, um, KJ and the AAU process and seeing girls there and what it does for young yes. boys. Well, my best friend, Sheena Menard, she has an AAU team. She has twin daughters, and they're on the AAU team, mm -hmm. and she coaches an all-girls AAU team. Um, and her husband is ex-NBA, ex-overseas, uh, ex-Euroleague basketball player mm -hmm. as well, and then he coaches the, the boys' team. I think that parenting is one of the most important components when it comes to this type of, well, it comes to this topic, because without the parents allowing the children and, and, and um, promoting them mm -hmm. to, you know, be in sports, um, I think that it won't happen anyway. Mm -hmm. And I also think that we need to... Um, promote sports from a nutritional standpoint as well. Yes, um, that's good. I grew up in sports. I played basketball. I was on the track team, and I was I, um, I played tennis. I played first doubles. So for me, sports has always been, I also was a cheerleader. Mm -hmm. It's always been a, a part of my life, and it has actually um, uh, it has actually continued on through um, up to as an adult. Yeah, absolutely. And how I. <laughs> operate as far as keeping my health mm -hmm. and nutrition intact mm -hmm. like as you're always thinking about training and keeping your body in a certain kind of conditioning and it's a good way to get kids to 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 get this instilled in him at a very young yeah, age yeah. so i just think that there's so many other just like you spoke on uh discipline um, friendships, yeah. confidence. I think there's so many other good things from sports, come from sports that don't have anything to do with just them being girls or boys. Mm -hmm. We just really have to promote our children mm -hmm. to be in sports because of the other benefits. Absolutely. Well, well I, I want to touch on what sports can do for your self-esteem. Mm -hmm. And uh, well, clearly we've seen this with Venus and Serena and many other um, 
um, uh, athletes. Mm -hmm. One thing I've noticed that they all have in, 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 in common, confidence, mm -hmm. confidence. But why is it mistaken when a woman is self-assured, yeah, right? There you go. And know who she is and knows what she brings to the table, undoubtedly. Mm -hmm. Why is she perceived to be an angry black, black woman? woman. Mm -hmm. Or not only, if she's not angry, then she's cocky and arrogant mm -hmm. and, and self-centered and self-serving. Yeah. Why is that? Well, why I, must we cloak the women and, 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 and people who are confident? Yeah, yeah. With that? I, I think that's very unfair because we have to fight so many battles yeah. uh, when it comes to sports. And the burden of black athletes is that we've always had to be the bigger person yeah. when things have to have to have uh, Take the come again. Seat, we always yeah. have the back seat. You see, Serena, as much as strong as she is, she always has to take the like, man. Let me just let the them do their thing. The high road. Why do we always have to take the high road? And I don't want that to deter other young athletes from the way they're seeing our premier athletes being treated to deter them from not becoming an athlete because of that. But that is the risk we are taking. Mm -hmm. Yes, yes, yes. You know, um, when you mentioned AAU, I had no idea what AAU was. Mm -hmm. I can't remember what the acronym means. Mm -hmm. However, you know, Bonnie's a real big sports guy. Mm -hmm. And your, they had your, the, your friend, my, your my, boyfriend. Yeah. <laughs> they, had the, um, they had the AAU conference here yeah. in Atlanta a few months mm -hmm. a few months ago. And one of his friends, his daughter plays for one of the, the uh, St. Louis teams. And mm -hmm. she's already was offered a scholarship. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. But as you know, when you go there, there are a lot of scouts and such mm -hmm. there. And when she, I saw her command that they have these all these little pods yeah. of you know basketball mm -hmm. areas. I don't know what they're called. I'm not a sports girl. But when she commanded that, she was, she's a little meek when you first meet her. But when she got on that, to that yes platform, or, yeah. Uh -huh. And she helped, I mean, it was just one of the most phenomenal things I've ever seen in my life. Right all now. these different groups of females, mm -hmm. yeah. young females, mm -hmm. just taking command and ownership of a sport. Yeah. And yeah. it was just, and then she gained two other scholarships yeah. mm -hmm. from being at the AAU. Yeah. It, mm -hmm. AAU is basically a premier sports, a yes. premier sports um, association for children to continue to play year round. And it's really for those athletes that really have they got a little something, yeah. a little something yeah. extra. And uh, and a lot of folks are putting their children in those particular programs so yeah, that they continue tougher. to, it is. It's a, a more competitive there you go. Um, organization. Yeah. And, um, yes. and, and not just for the elite, but more competitive. So they, they want their children to be better. Yes, you, know, you got to play yeah. more than, yeah. than the high school and season. And there's, there's the USBA, energy. there's a lot of different ones, yeah. but that's like the premier one. That's mm -hmm. absolutely. Court, basketball yeah. court, that's yeah. the word I want to There you go, there you go. This case was bothering me. It's all good. Well, we want to continue to encourage female athletes to keep Keep doing yeah. what you do. Pick up that ball, do what you do, and we'll be here to support yes. you along the way. We'd love yes. to hear how you feel. Send us your thoughts at Sister Circle TV on all social media platforms. Come